Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday morning for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WOWT. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks the following sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club of Omaha also thanks those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning and happy Mother's Day. We are pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Frank Bommard, associate, uh, sorry, I need to start again. One more time. Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday morning for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WOWT. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks the following sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club of Omaha also thanks those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning and happy Mother's Day. We are pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Frank Bommert, Senior Associate Pastor at St. Joan of Arc and St. Thomas More Parishes in Omaha. Our lectors are Sarens Bernadette Esposito and Herman Wiest. Our musicians are from Our Lady of Lords Parish in Omaha. They are vocalists Kathy Garibrandt, Therese McGrath, Julia Kimball, Jeannie Render, Mary Clay Mendick, along with pianist Jane Lincoln. And I'm your Kevin to commentator, Kevin Cooper. The cross brought glory to Jesus and to the Father. The cross is how we will also find our way to glory. In the cross of Christ, we find true peace with God. May we strive to always live in the peace of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance 
we may always hold in what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God, who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. But do it with great gentleness and reverence keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day 
you will realize that I am with, I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Again, happy Mother's Day. I have to tell you a, a mother's story. Uh, this happened when I was like, I'm guessing maybe six years old, give or take a year. I was just listening, I'm sure, to mom talk about how such and such a little baby looks like her dad or something like that. And so I was intrigued by this idea. And I says, well, my sister has dark brown hair. And at that point I had dark brown hair. But then my brother was blonde and he had blue eyes and my sister and I had, my sister had brown eyes. And my mom and I were talking about that and then I, I says, mom, what color eyes do I have? And she looked really closely into my eyes and said, chicken poop. And then she explained, she says, you know, little flecks of gray and green and brown and black and white. And I was so proud. I just thought that is the coolest thing anybody's ever said to me. Now I think of it as it's a good explanation of that, yes, I'm full of it. <laughs> but at that point, I just knew manure was a good thing. I lived on a farm. Manure made things grow. Yeah, you had to clean up barns and stuff like that, but it made things grow. It made them grow bigger and better. So I didn't see that as a problem. But there was another aspect that made that even more special because I had heard many times about dad and mom in their courtship and that on Valentine's Day at one point, mom was a school teacher in a one-room schoolhouse and she would drive by dad and the family farm there. And on Valentine's Day, Dad, with the help of one of his brothers, filled a manure spreader full and then went out into the fresh snow and made a gigantic heart with the manure in the snow so mom could see it as she drove by to go to school. And as mom would say, if that's not love, what is? <laughs> she too had that same idea that, you know, you got to look at the best aspect of this. If you look at the worst, you're going to look at the worst of everything. And that's what St. Peter is trying to tell us in this. He says, always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. They don't want to hear your reason for why I'm depressed and it's so bad and all oh, gloom, despair and agony on me. But what's your hope? It comes from the resurrection, it comes from eternal life comes from being able to be with Jesus. Like he said in here, I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. And every time we go to communion, he is in us. We should be remembering that as we're talking to people. It's the same way with uh, gossiping. People have a hard time gossiping and they get in conversation, they go, I don't want to do it, but people are saying all these negative things. And I says, well, you know who the ones that get picked on the most. So my suggestion is have a positive thought about that person in your mind that you've prepared the day before. And think of that. What will I say if things get negative about anybody that I'm ready for? so that you have a positive thought, not a negative thought that will come forward because it's being triggered by the negative thoughts of the other people, but a positive thought that you've prepared. That's how you end gossip because you say something positive and it's no fun for them. But it's the same way with Jesus. We have to have the, those positive things of our faith alive in our hearts and recognize that's where Jesus dwells and he's given us himself as his greatest gift. So we can be ready with that whenever people are asking, how are things going? Or what is your reason for hope?
Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us seek God's help and assistance. For Pope Francis, that he may be a visible source and foundation of unity in faith and of communion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the church and her leaders throughout the world may follow the example of the apostles, growing in faith despite any kind of trial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who will be ordained to the priesthood and transitional diaconate, may God's grace and blessings be generously poured out upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer for the sick, for all those who rest in the peace of Christ, and that Jesus' farewell gift of peace may be preserved through a renewed respect and protection for every human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for the needs of this community, our sponsors, our supporters, and for you, our viewers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, hear the prayers of your people. Answer them in your love and mercy, for we ask these things humbly of you in the name of your Son, who is our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your support of the Mass for Shut-Ins. Since 1964, your prayers and generosity have helped the Sierra Club of Omaha bring the Mass to so many. We continue to pray for first responders, caregivers, and for the health and safety of all priests and religious life. The Sarah Club of Omaha thanks you again as we continue in our mission to support and pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life with the spiritual intercession of our patron, St. Junipero Sarah. The Liturgy of the Eucharist now begins. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and to graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, <clears throat> my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Said he, I danced on a Friday when the sky changed.
let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us love and serve the Lord with our lives and be ready to proclaim Him with all sorts of positive thoughts. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us as we recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. O God, who wills not the death of a sinner, but rather that he be converted and live, grant, we beseech you, through the intercession of the Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, Saint Joseph, her spouse, Saint Junipero, Sarah, and all the saints, an increase of labors for your church, fellow labors with Christ, to spend and consume themselves for souls, through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us today in this great prayer of Jesus. It is a prayer that unites people throughout the world. We invite you to recite the Sarah Prayer of Vocations. If you would like a prayer card, contact us through WOWT. And please join us again for the Mass for Shut-Ins next Sunday morning at 1030 on 6 News WOWT. Good morning. I'm Omaha Archbishop George Lucas. The Sarah Club of Omaha, in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha, began airing the Mass for Shut-Ins in 1964. Each week the Mass is viewed by thousands in Nebraska and Iowa on WOWT and is also seen online by many others worldwide. Please know we are praying for you as you watch in your home or in other places, including retirement centers and in hospitals. We are indebted to our supporting sponsors, to so many parishes, and to you who for years have remembered the Mass with your prayers and gifts. We ask you for your continued support in order to serve all of our viewers. Thank you for your generous assistance and may God bless you and your family. been watching the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, brought to you as a public service by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with 6 News WOWT. We hope you'll join us again next Sunday for the Mass for Shut-Ins.